the International Monetary Fund has advised the Central Bank of Nigeria and others in emerging markets to maintain that monetary policy tightening in order to cage inflation, which of course is at 21.91% uh, year on year in February. The Washington based institution in its World Economic Outlook titled A Rocky Recovery uh, retain, uh, retain Nigeria's gross domestic product growth projections for 2023. At 3.2 percent. So we'll take a look at some of those projections for 2023 and 2024, including Sub-Saharan Africa, Nigeria, and uh, South Africa. So yeah, 3.6 for Nigeria, 3.2 or 3.2 rather for Nigeria, 0.1. Uh, for South Africa. Here's some quotes from Daniel Lay, who is a research division head at the IMSS for Nigeria. Forecast, of course, is one of the most stable for this year, for 2023, 3.2%. He then talks about the inflation being very high and the fact that they have a forecast of 20% uh, for Nigeria's uh, inflation projection. And yes, so this economy, very high inflation as well. This is why we have a forecast of about 20%. And then he suggests that tightening should be continued so we have, of course, Arise business analyst Chika Mbonu uh, to get his thoughts on this matter. Chika, you're welcome. Good morning. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. You talk a lot about monetary policy, <laughs> tightening. I, I need to get your thoughts on this matter. <laughs> okay. It's IMS season again. Yeah, exactly. And everybody, that is, everybody is in, is in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. and uh, with Nigerian delegation there. I'm, I know you very well. I'm sure you're going to ask me about the delegation of things. Course. <laughs> of course. But be, be that's it, man. You know, um, just for... Uh, the basic economics, well, let me just put it down for, to our viewers. It, 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 the World Bank has said that we should do, continue to tighten. And that, that's what CBN has been doing, pushing the, the, the headline rate for the economy, the monetary policy rate, to about 18% yep. now. Um, and um, that's a lead rate in the economy. Mm. Consequentially, once the uh, monetary policy rate moves up, it means interest rates in the banks go so up. For lending, was move will move up. Mm. Also, um, it means also concurrently, as it's, banks are moving the lending rates up, the deposit taking rates also should be moved up. Mm -hmm. But we know that uh, they are usually very slow in doing that. Yeah. Not only in Nigeria, because I, I read something already right about the the financial authority in UK. Yeah. You know, um, when the UK government, when the the the, 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 uh, the Bank of England adjusted the basic rate. Mm -hmm. Most of the banks are able to move their deposit rates, but they move their lending rates. Yeah. But with that, see, man, okay, see, inflation on the base level yeah. is defined as too much money chasing too few goods. Yeah. Too much money, one side, chasing too few goods. Now, therefore, the sedentary management of inflation says if too much inflation is too much money pushing too, too few goods, if you reduce the quantum of money in the economy, hmm. You know, other things held constant that the quality of quantity of goods in the economy being there, it will dry up the money in the system. Yes. So less money, we pursue the few goods that we have, mm. and therefore bring down inflation. This is the theory. Now, so what happens therefore is that, but the, remember the price of money. Yes, is interest. So if you bring down, uh, if you move up interest rates up. Yes. It means that the rate of people who are going to borrow will, be, will go higher, and their cost of borrowing will be will be higher, and that will also be transferred to the other costs in the business. But you see, there are two sides. Remember, I said too much money pursuing too few goods. Yeah. The Central Bank of Nigeria can only manage one side, right? Which is too much money, and through their tools, money policy rate, cash reserve ratio, mm. liquidity ratio, you know, they are drying up the money in the system. Mm. Raising interest rate, it becomes more expensive to borrow, people less money. Yeah. Uh, raising cash reserve ratio, less money. Mm. Raising liquidity ratio, less money. All those are managing one side. The other side, which has to do what? The to, a few goods, goods in the economy yeah, yeah. is outside the CBN uh, management. Yeah, exactly. Ordinarily, therefore, you can manage inflation from one side. So, too much money, mm. managing too few goods. So, too few goods can also be, should be brought up why to match, to match, to match the, the, the money, money. Yeah. Yeah. or some other actions that will enable that but what, what what's going to happen the manufacturers are buffeted with insecurity yes lack of power multiple taxes aboro aboro boys who are attacking attacking that yes you know legacy issues yes higher transportation costs 
So they're not even able to produce goods at lower costs. Right. You know, so you're going to ask me, is, is this issue of tightening going to solve the issue of problem inflation? You are correct, sir. That's my next question. You know, <laughs> but, so I've explained it to you now yes, yes. that it cannot... When you're chasing inflation management from one side, which is managing money supply, reducing money supply, the issue of the right side, which is too few goods, mm. should also be managed. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but in Nigeria, for example, with the problems we have is that the manufacturers are buffeted with so many problems, and that in the short term they are not able to do to do what increase their production. Yeah, and so as you dry up, keep drying up the money supply. Yeah, as you drying up money supply, mm -hmm. interest rate is is going it's up. Going up. And people are borrowing less to produce less. Mm. So it becomes a visual, visual cycle. cycle. Yeah. So you can achieve your inflation objectives because people have fewer money to buy few, uh, the goods. The theory, therefore, is that the, supply, the, the sellers, when they see that there's no more, nobody coming to price their goods mm. because the money is less now, they will force what? Reduce their yeah, prices. prices. And therefore, inflation will come, yeah. come down. You know, that's how it's supposed to, they think it's going to work. Wonderful breakdown. But, but, <laughs> but in other economies, yeah. when they tell you that everything works in a, I don't want to use those buzzwords, equilibrium, yeah. you know, that. The issue, all those things work. It's assumed that manufacturers will not go through these kind of problems they have. It's assumed that manufacturers will not spend one month clearing their goods from the port. Uh -huh. It's assumed that manufacturers will not pay triple the rate, moving their, in tra transporting their goods from north to south or south to north. Mm. It's assumed that they, will not, uh, they are not providing their own power, their water, their security. It's assumed that the farmers will go there and have their goods, have their goods safely. Mm. All those things work. Yeah. You know, so central bank... Is, is, in a, is a small boy's quarter trying to manage a mass, massive economy. Mm. So it becomes a problem because only tightening up can about reduce inflation where there are, other, uh, in, you know, where there are problems, mm. challenges in the supply side. Thank you so much for that, uh, Chika, for that breakdown. Yes, as you predicted, I wanted to ask you about a certain uh, 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 individual at the IMF spring meetings that was uh, pictured next to the World Bank uh, Country Director for Nigeria, Mr. Shuban Chuduri. Um, and uh, I wanted to get your thoughts, Mr. Wale. Uh, mm, anyway, well, yes. How? Yeah, yeah, just, you know, it looks like he's... I mean, he's, first of all, he's a member of the... He was nominated with mm. Alaji Bagudu to the transition team by the president-elect. Yes. You know, so, you know, he has to get to know uh, what is happening mm. in, the, in, the, in the government yeah. so that when they take over, they will not... Um, 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 they, will, they will be current on what the issues are, mm -hmm. the issues happening. What I do is, of course, very competent. You know, Commissioner for Finance and Lagos State here. Yes. During uh, Tinubu um, uh, ten or for eight years, I think. Yes. Solid education, solid background. You know, Machen Banker. You know, done one of the best banks here. Stambika IBTC. Yeah. You know, was a, with, with Mr. Atedo Peter side. They were the founders. Um, so he's solid banker with international pay degree. And uh, those are kind of things we have been lacking in the in the finance, uh, the fiscal side of the government. Mm. And in the fiscal side of the government, have been very weak. I mean, so some people ask me, oh, do, should it be in the central bank, or should it be in the Ministry of Finance? You know, but I mean, see, central bank government, most we don't know, is ten is up to next year. Right. Tinubu cannot come in and say, I fired you like a minister, or tenor is, ends with the tenor of the listen, right. unless the guy elects to go. Mm. You know, and all this, all this, all the Senate. He pitches him. He's, he can run his tenure to next year. I think next year, May or something like that. Right. I have a feeling that they will, that should happen. Well, I do see energies and everything should go towards the fiscal side, the Ministry hmm. of Finance, which has been, um, you know, I mean, there have been question marks on what should happen there. You know, remember the lingo. Our problem is not uh, um, debt. debt. Is our revenue, problem is re revenue. revenue. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, we're struggling every day. You know, soap is entering our eye inside water. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. But either way, we know that uh, the team, well, like I said before, the team coming in, mm. either way, to, you know, among the three candidates, it will only will be solid. And yeah. the president elect, you know, if Wale, Wale is in the, in the, in the finance team, mm. it's a plus, plus, plus for him. Yeah. You know, and it's not even just to what uh, ministry that's going to be or position, but if they've been in a room and having the best brains articulate the issues on the, the economy. Mm. I have the, I'm going to do, so I think from tomorrow or next week, I'm going to do some uh, series. Yeah. It can't be too far away from oil. Oh, okay. Are you following me now? Yes, of course. Oil continues to be, I mean, just as revenue. Yeah. Even as we drive toward the production economy, mm. oil continues to be. Yeah. And uh, 
there are so many issues there that any smart person will go. Remember what I, I think I today said one time that the problems in Nigeria are, are, are solvable. Yeah, just if the right one, people. If one, we have the competent people yeah. who are brave and willing to take the hard decisions. Well, analyze it. Analyze it all here. Rise business analyst Chika Mbono. Chika, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it.